It's easy to die. It's really hard to live. To actually dare doing everything you dream of doing. I'm from Norway. I grew up on a farm, like way out in the countryside. For the first 15 years of my life, I was a little farmer girl. <laughs> my brother introduced me to climbing uh, when I was around 16, and climbing became more and more important, and eventually it like became my job. Being in the moment is what attracts me to it. It's very not stressful. There's nothing else, there's no tomorrow, there's no yesterday. You're just like right in the moment. When I was younger, I would definitely travel. The difference is that I would question it more. Yeah. Maybe I'm not like doing enough with my life. Maybe I'm just like dreaming. I should be more like standard. Now I trust more that it, this is the way I like to live and I'm just gonna do it. I have it in me that I'm kind of a nomad. I like the unknown. I'm drawn to that. It's my heart to be on the road. The lifestyle of rock climbing, it just suits me very well. Tell me about your trip to Turkey. My trip to Turkey didn't really go as planned. Um, I woke up that morning and I said to my husband, I just had this dream that I'm gonna die before you. Anyway, I was top roping. Two other climbers show up and they're like, oh, we want to top rope also. That's where it started. I was thinking, how can I do this in the best way? It's going to be really hard to climb up and then try to clip the draws back in for them. I pull down a lot of rope. I'm tied in the middle of the rope. The rope goes up to the anchor and down to my belayer. And I have this like loose tail that I can clip back in to the draws. So it's ready for them. Climb up, unclip the draws above me, clip that loose end. And I clip myself into the anchor to fix the rope a little bit for like a flip of a second when I see the loose end that goes through my quick draws where I came up. I think that's my belayer down there. I think I've been leading. Clip my rope then back into the anchor. I actually clip myself into the same side of the anchor as where my belayer is. I yell down to him like, you got me? Yeah, I got you. And I unclip and I just fall to the ground. My first thought is that he has give me a little slack so I get like a little fall from the anchor, just normal, <laughs> or just a little bonus fall, doesn't matter. And then I feel that it, I feel that it's accelerating. And then I'm like, something is wrong. This is not right. I wake up in like a bubble of light, it feels like, on the ground. No fear. It's not scary. I just think, wow, I've lived a good life. And like, I'm happy. But it's too early. It's like, I can't die now. And I feel the pain shooting through my whole body. Like I talk to the, I see people, you know, and yeah, and they're slapping me in the face, asking me what my name is and blah, blah. You know, I can't move, there's blood everywhere and bones sticking out and something is like deeply, really wrong. 
My ankles were open. They had tried to put air casts on my ankles, but the bones would pop the air cast and they were like flapping around. It just really hurt really bad. I think for me, I realized like pretty fast that there is just one option. I have to like do everything that's in my power to do something about, to get my life back. Being active is such a big part of my life. If you're stressed, being outside, being active is like my whole, it's everything I do. It's easy to die. It's really hard to live, to actually dare doing everything you dream of doing. Living the way you want to live, not just like go with a flow that you think is expected of you. That's the hard part. Dying, then you're, that's easy and you're gone. <laughs>